The 1920s were a prosperous time for the United States, and Macy's department store benefited from the boom. In 1924, their flagship store in Manhattan was so busy it expanded to cover the entire city block, stretching from Broadway to 7th Avenue along 34th Street. To celebrate the world's largest store and to kick off the busy holiday shopping season, Macy's decided to throw a New York Christmas parade on Thanksgiving morning. It was intended to be a pre-Christmas celebration that invited shoppers into the store to do their holiday shopping. The idea of a Thanksgiving parade did not originate with Macy's, but rather Gimbel Brothers department store in Philadelphia. In 1920, the very first Thanksgiving procession took place with 50 people, 15 cars, and a fireman dressed as Santa Claus. This was certainly inspiration for what Macy's was trying to do, but Macy's wanted a grander event. So two weeks before Thanksgiving, Macy's president, Herbert Strauss, announced that the city of New York would be treated to a one-of-a-kind holiday event like nothing they had ever seen before. The first Macy's Christmas Parade kicked off at 9 a.m. on November 27, 1924, and followed a six-mile route from Harlem to Herald Square. The floats in the inaugural parade featured characters from popular nursery rhymes to match the theme of the Christmas window displays at Macy's store. Appearances were made by the old woman who lived in a shoe, Little Miss Muffet, and Little Red Riding Hood, along with animals that were loaned to Macy's from the Central Park Zoo. Macy's employees also dressed as clowns, cowboys, and other fun characters to entertain crowds along the parade route. The parade was capped off by the appearance of Santa Claus, waving from the balcony of Macy's 34th Street entrance. The Christmas parade was a big success, and within a week, Macy's announced that the parade would be back the following year. Over the next few years, the parade continued to grow in popularity, becoming a New York City holiday tradition. By 1927, live animals borrowed from the zoo were replaced with floating balloons. A puppeteer named Tony Sarg was hired to design a window display for the store to advertise the parade. In addition to the display, Sarg built animal-shaped tethered balloons with the help from the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company out of Akron, Ohio. In the beginning, the large balloons would be released into the air at the end of the parade. They included a return address, so whoever found the deflated balloon could return it for a free gift. This continued until 1932. By the 1930s, a million people were lining the streets of New York to watch the parade. Radio stations also began broadcasting the parade, spreading the tradition across the country. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, as it became known, continued rain or shine up until 1942, when the events of World War II canceled the parade for a few years, with helium and rubber being needed for the war effort. It resumed in 1945, with a crowd of two million spectators in attendance.
In 1947, the popular Christmas movie Miracle on 34th Street prominently featured Macy's department store and their Thanksgiving Day Parade, which helped to ingrain it further into American culture. The following year, the parade was televised nationally on NBC for the first time. Through the years, the balloons have become the main attraction, with new characters being introduced each year. Some favorites have been Felix the Cat in 1932, Mickey Mouse in 1934, Mighty Mouse in 1951, Bullwinkle in 1961, Snoopy in 1968, and Kermit the Frog in 1977, among many, many others. Today, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade features a dozen giant balloons, nearly 30 themed floats, thousands of dancers and cheerleaders, more than 750 clowns, several marching bands from around the country, and over 8,000 participants in all. It also takes nearly 4,000 volunteers to pull off the festive celebration. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade kicks off the holiday season and ushers in Santa Claus to the delight of children across the country. Each year, close to 3.5 million people attend the parade, and more than 50 million people watch it from home prior to enjoying their Thanksgiving meal with family. Are you someone who watches the parade every year? Let me know in the comments some of your own memories of enjoying the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And as always, thank you so much for watching.